What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to clone your boot drive in Linux. So I'm going to try to keep this as simple as can be. That could be done on basically any Linux distribution ever. Um, if you saw my previous video, I cleaned out my computer and threw in a NVMe SSD. So the reason I did that was because I wanted to, for one, and two, because I wanted more storage and three, because I wanted something that was a little bit faster than my SATA drive, because I have an 870 QVO and now I'm upgrading to a 970 EVO on NVMe. So now, without further ado, let's get right into it. First, we're going to open up our command prompt and I'm actually going to close out my disk utility here because I was going to use that, but there's actually a better way to show you. Without doing anything else, let's just do LSBLK or list block as an easy way to remember it. Hit enter. And it's going to show you everything that we have. So we have SDA with partitions A1 and A2. I have SDB with B1 as a partition. That is my smaller SSD of 3.5 terabytes, also SATA. And SDC on my C1 partition of 14.6 terabytes. Now that is a spinning disk hard drive with a lot of storage. So that is for recording videos and stuff of the like. Uh, the three and a half terabyte is for my game drive. And I know that might seem a little overkill, but hey, I had it and I decided that I wanted to use that as my game drive. But we're not concerned with any of those. We're not concerned with these two. We're concerned with this and this. So the utility that we're going to be using is called DD. And DD is a disk utility that lets you make copies and backups. That's basically baked into every single distribution of Linux. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to sudo DD if equals SDA. And that is what we want to clone. We want to clone our entire SDA drive. Oh wait, I think we got to go dev. I think we got to go slash dev. It's been a while since I've done this, but I believe this is how it's done. And then of equals dev, and then the name of the drive that you want to use. So that would be for me, NVMe 0 and 1. And that is going to basically make that my target. So this right here is the designation for what we want to clone. And this is the designation for what we're cloning to. At least if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've done this. I hit enter, going ahead and put in my password. And now it is going to take a very long time because I'm cloning a one terabyte partition. I should have probably done a progress flag just to show that, but I guess I will come back to this when it's all done. Okay, so I stopped it a little bit through because I had no idea what was going on. So I opened up the man page for this, which is just dd minus minus help. And that shows you everything for that command that you're trying to run. This is just some basic Linux stuff. So I added the status equals progress flag because that is supposed to show you the progress of uh, periodic transfer statistics, apparently. So hopefully this gives me a better idea of what's actually going on while I'm uh, while I'm doing this. But first, I am going to. I guess I'm fine. I guess I don't really need to go and clear anything out. So I guess this is okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter and see what see how it goes. Okay, there we go. Now it's showing us a bit of a progress and we have a lot of gigabytes to go. So oh, this is gonna take a while. I will come back when, uh, when that's complete. All right, that took a lot longer than I expected, but now our disc is fully cloned. So let's go ahead and go into the BIOS and our new drive. All right, so here we are in the BIOS of my computer. And now if we go to boot, oh, it looks like my uh, new drive is, if it can focus here, come on, focus, 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 there we go. And it looks like it automatically selected it because I guess it likes uh, NVMe over SATA. All right, so I guess there's really nothing that I need to do there except for go ahead, save changes and exit. And now we're gonna be booting back into the OS, hopefully on the NVMe drive. And now we are back in the desktop environment. Nothing looks different. So let's go ahead and open our disk utility and see if everything went according to plan. All right, so that definitely shifted places. Okay, so we have our file system here as partition two. 
and mount it as file system root. Okay, so let's go to gparted because I know that for a fact will show us what's going on. Okay, so it actually lets you uh, go ahead and fix right from the get-go. Go ahead and resize, change this to zero. One, two. Size. Head hit check. Apply. And now that's successful. Now we only have one megabyte of unallocated space. Okay, let's see if our... All right, awesome. So that does, in fact, show us that we are on the NVMe drive as our boot, because we are in our home folder, and now it's showing 1.4 terabytes of free space left. I guess that's all it takes to clone a disk on Linux. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. This is Arch, and I will see you in the next video.